Hello guys, welcome back to the channel Crypto Global 100. Let's take a look at the Bitcoin price today, okay? Uh, as we all know that Bitcoin crashed today, uh, maybe 3% all the way from 45,500 up to 43,000. So it was a drop of approximately 2,000 and it went yesterday to 47, got rejected right at this area. I told you, I've drawn the level in here. This is the you know level of resistance you call or the level of supply. Although this area has been uh, tested multiple times, making it weaker, but I think the volume was not enough. Uh, the volume has to be good for in order to the price to move up. So I have drawn this trend line, which you can clearly see. It's visible to everyone, as you can see right here. These are the spot on areas. Okay, spot on areas in here as well. You can take that as well to some extent. So after the breakout, we never had the retest. So possibly, possibly this uh, the area of 42,000 can be tested in here. The reason is this trend line this trend area you can see it has never retested back even if you just take a look at these candles okay yeah this was retested it was good okay after that it continues to move up never went down yeah it was tested it is clear this gap is cleared now this gap was not cleared but it has been right now so the possibility is more that we might gonna see the uh you know next move to the 45,000 here and that will decide whether it's want, it wants to go up or wants to go down. Okay, the possible scenarios. I'm, I'm I'm giving you the possible scenarios. Okay, so first thing, if this candle closes below this area, we might gonna see, we might going to see the next candle testing like this, making a high and then dropping down to this level of forty two thousand. This is the first scenario. Second scenario is that the candle closed here. Then next candle, it pushes, it, it has to push around the area of 45,000 and if it breaks above and closes above, then it will be continuation of the uptrend or maybe you can see this has been the uptrend, but right now the position is not clear. But anyhow, uh, you know, the altcoins depend on the Bitcoin, the price of altcoins depends on the Bitcoin. So if I draw the fixed volume profile, since this area okay we can find out yeah it's showing that how much volume is traded around this area you can see huge amount of trades happened around this area you can see many candles testing around this area okay with the volume good volume and then the next level is right here at 42,000, which i just mentioned so and also the some peak in here as well so by taking a look at th this volume profile we see this area important area okay the more volume means there is something okay there is something this is the largest of them all a strong area then a medium area and that is the lowest of them all okay so right now the price of bitcoin is in between the three and two area so what we can expect the price is gonna stay in between 44 45 to 42,000 here okay it's gonna retract uh, retrace back to 45 for just a pull uh what you can see after the breakout usually we see a retest or a pullback so we might gonna see the this candle going up again and then a retest or bounce back to 42,000 and then from there we will see what would be the next uh, you know move of the bitcoin and also you can see huge drop from the bitcoin anything can happen guys anything can happen last year uh in the month of april if i go back here this was the april okay so after let me show you here this is the april to may okay and after that we saw a huge dump here just take a look at here in the may we saw a huge dump and in april we saw some sort of this you know combo here and also the uh, you know april to may you can check out here so if we you know coincide this one with the current chart uh could this be possible we might gonna see you see the you know trend to the upside and then a little uh you know move toward the upside making double top and the more things are towards the 42,000. So anything can, ha can happen, guys. Anything can happen. But this is just an update. And if we just take a look at the you know coin market cap, let's find out the Bitcoin. Take a look at the Bitcoin here, the volume and the price. Everything is dropping. So does the market. So yeah, the volume is good. You see the 28%. I did I did not notice that. The volume is good. That's huge volume. It means that uh, and also it has a week so guys wait for tomorrow and to wait you can place your buy orders in worst case around this area around 42,000 okay and uh, from here if 
if it has to go down it's gonna bounce back from 42,000 and you can fill up your orders and uh, you know you will be in profit but for now uh, you know just you know let it close okay let this candle close and then you, we can decide what's gonna happen next okay also if I turn on the EMAs so you can see the EMA has rejected from this L level and let me show you which EMA is this one that is 55 EMA definitely a good rejection from this area also if you take a look in the past we have uh, multiple swing highs here okay so getting rejected from the swing high so guys it's a good area uh, but this is current scenario neither bullish nor bearish it's kind of uh, you know medium depending upon the you know closing of the candle so yeah that's the current scenario of the bitcoin i will update about more coins and thanks for watching guys over and out from crypto global 100